Je? Uko vizuri? <laughs> Mambo vipi? Poa, poa. <laughs> <laughs> au Kiswahili au unisikii vizuri? Ah no. No, no, no. I was just you know trying to get back. You know, the music had carried me away, lakini I'm back, yeah. Yeah. Ya bana hii ni ngoma yako ya kwanza naweza kusema baada ya kuwa na miaka 18 kamili ama uh, yeah no mimi okay. nilifanya nyimbo na darasa lakini hii ni ya kwangu binafsi yani yeah. ambayo ndio nimefanya toka nime nyimbo ya darasa ndio ile kings eh huh? nyimbo ya darasa ndio ile ya yes. kings yes ukiachana na ile ama piano ama piano ilitoka ilitoka mwezi wa pili ya yeah, bram yes yeah na hebu tuambie experience sasa mm-hmm. kutoka sasa hizi account ya Instagram na miliki wewe au bado kuna manager wa account hiyo yeah, mimi nina miliki mwenyewe management obviously inaingia ina mm. check kila kitu you know kwa like lazima u look at your insights and mm. all of that stuff lakini bado ninayo like kwenye simu nikitaka ku check vitu nina check yeah mm. captions inaandikaza mwenyewe mm. yeah cuz napenda kuwa na connection na followers zangu yeah, yeah. Na kuna kipindi kulikuwa kuna majibizano kati yako wewe na mashabiki zako kwenye social media. Mm. Nadhani ilikuwa ni kama umewafungulia mlango hivyo kuuliza ulize maswali. Yes, yeah. Na hebu niambie maswali gani yalikuwa yanaonekana kama ni awkward hivi? Maswali ambayo yalikuwa mm. yana um, <laughs> I don't know like maswali yalikuwa kawaida not too many awkward ones yani watu walikuwa wananiuliza like um, just the normal questions ilianza muziki lini like kwa nini napenda muziki but but wengi wao wananiulizaga kama bado ninasoma hiyo ni swali ambayo ilikuja sana watu wengi waniuliza hivi bado nasoma um ndio bado ninasoma um yeah like obviously kuna few weird questions yeah, but most of them were just normal i guess moja ya swali ambalo unaliona huwa lina haulipendi mm. we are human being unajua yeah. kuna muda uwezi yeah. kuficha feeling yeah. ni lipi um, i don't know like it's <laughs> you know in ningum kusema sasa hivi like off my head yeah. lakini obviously naweza kukumbuka a few times labda nimesoma swali i'm like eh jamani kweli mtaanza kuniuliza hii swali lakini siwezi kukumbuka tu just off my head right now yeah yeah Mziki una mchanganyiko wa vitu vingi sana. Mm-hmm. Achana na mambo tuliongea of where nadhani tufocus hapa. Una mchanganyiko wa vitu vingi sana. Yeah. Unaonaje nafasi yako kwenye industry? Uh, oh, like competition. Mm. Uh, unajua ki ukweli mimi sipendagi kuona kama mtu ni yani sijui kwa nini watu wanafanyaga muziki na kuwa kama competition. Mm. Mimi naona tu it's everyone is in the game and everyone's having a good time, you know. Ukianza kuona muziki kama kama competition, mm. unaanza kufanya kwa sababu sio not like it's your passion or anything lakini kwa sababu unataka kumzidi mtu. Mimi naangalia tu muziki kama something I'm passionate about, siangalii kama mtu yote is my competition au kama mimi ni competition wa mtu yote. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ukifananishwa na wasanii wengine unajisikiaje? Um, I don't know. I guess ni I guess it's just normal, you know, how is it act like people will always do that, you know? Like ata shuleni unafan, ulikuwa unafananishwa na watu darasani, things like that. So, kufananisha I guess it's a normal thing. Mm. And yeah. Na, na fa, unaangalia wapi? Unaangalia success yako Tanzania ama nje ya Tanzania? Yeah. Um, ninaangalia everywhere like kwa sababu mimi in terms of my goals like i'm someone that wants to go i'm i'm looking into the global market kwa hiyo ninaangalia both hapa in tanzania lakini pia nje ya tanzania yeah na kuweza kufikia hiyo global market ambao unaizungumza unataka kufanya nini kwa sababu nikisikiliza mziki ambao upo universal kuna mziki ambao ni universal yani mziki ambao unapatikana sehemu yoyote lakini mziki ambao utakutambulisha wewe kama peke yako yani unatengeneza market yako unatengeneza platform yako yeah. unafikiri unataka kufanya nini hapo yeah. utafanya nini yeah i think the only thing ambayo naweza ku you know the music industry is very saturated around the world kuna mm. watu wengi sana duniani wanafanya muziki so mm. the only way ambayo unaweza ku to be different is to be you kwa sababu hamna mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa wewe like kila mtu ana like talent na gift ya kipekee kwa hiyo i guess ni mimi ku to stay true to myself you know stuck ku complete anybody stuck kufanya kitu yani kufurahisha mtu just to stay true to myself na hiyo peke ndo ni kitu ambayo itanifanya niwe unique from every anybody else in the world i think yeah. the game is rough and tough mm-hmm. are you going to be in the rough side yani unaweza kuwa kama vile ambavyo tunaona mm-hmm. kabla ya nyimbo tunaona maajabu scandals kicks of scandals mm. ah. 
no, no, no. Kwa kiu kwa li mimi si yo mtu ambayo na I really believe in scandals. Mimi na amini kwa mba mziki mzuri tajiza mwenyewe. Mm. Yani bila kufanya kitu chochote kupata attention ya watu. Yani kama mziki mzuri umetoma ngoma mbaya ni mzuri, yenyewe itapata attention ya watu. So mm. mimi ni kuwa na BD2, like determined, na kuwa focused katika muziki wangu. Wakikisha kwa mba mziki ni mzuri na siitaji kufanya scandal yoyote kuifikisha mbali. Ah uh, nime ona unafanya ile inaitwa Teen Talk nini yeah. inaitwa Teen Talks ni kama ni mara tatu hivi imeenda miaka mitatu mfululizo au miaka mingapi Ndio ni nilianza nilikuwa na miaka 16 mm-hmm. so ya 16 right Umefanya yeah. 17 nimeona 19 pia yeah. alafu na mwaka huu mwaka jana Yeah yeah mara tatu nadhani Yeah nimeshafanya like mara no nimefanya like mara how many times mm. Eight times. Mara yeah. nane. Eight times. Zuwaga nilikuwa naifanya kila miazi mtatu. Mm. Lakini kwa sababu ya COVID, corona likuwa niliacha kidogo. Ndomana sikuifanya sana last year. Lakini it's, it's been going on for a while and it's normally very consistent. Ume experience kitu gani kwa vijana hapo? Yeah. Ukifanya hiyo unapata, yeah. unajifunza nini? Una, yeah. Unajifunza nini kwa vijana? Okay, okay. so uh, let me, kwa, ngoja ni eleze labda kuna mtu mbaya hajui teen talks ni nini. Yeah. Ni kama like a program ya vijana. Mm. Mbaya ina deal na, ina usiana na afya ya kili you know ni kuna vijana wengi ambao waga wanapitia mambo mengi sana lakini hawana mali pa kwenda kuongea unajua saa zingine kuongea tu to talk to someone inasaidia sana kwa hiyo wanakuta vijana ha, wana kato na their problems their stress alafu they bottle it up next thing you know inafikia the a place of depression you know wanapata anxiety so nilitaka kuanzisha hiki kitu wapi vijana wana wana tunakutana tu kama vijana you know na watu wanasikia wana huru kuongelea vitu ambao vijana tunapitia yani kwa sababu mimi na miaka let's say kumi na nane, kijana mwingine akija anaona kama mimi ni mwenzake anaona like i can talk to them kwa sababu vijana wanapitia mambo mengi lakini unakuta hawana ukaribu labda na wazazi au wanaogopa kuongea shuleni labda wanaogopa kufukuza shuleni labda kuna wakijana ambao wanatumia madawa ya kulevya nataka kuacha lakini hana mahali pa kwenda na unakuta tu wanaanza kuenda na endelea kutumia madawa ya kulevya wana they party wanafanya vibaya shuleni kwa sababu tu hawana they don't know how to deal na hiyo stress na hiyo depression kwa hiyo nilianzisha hiyo program to deal with na kuonyesha vijana tu kwamba hawako peke yao na ni sawa kuongea na mtu na ku to seek help for whatever they're going through so waga tunakutana kama vijana na pia na masokolojia wanakuja pia kabisa kutupa like proper special help for the young people that are there that need that help na kuna changamoto mengi kiukweli ambao vijana tunapitia like kuna mambo ya social media ambayo siku hizi they're there ambayo hazikuepo before you know like lata wazazi wetu and older people might not understand lakini social media ni ni it's a huge problem right now kwa sababu instead of being a platform wapi vijana wanaweza kujengana like to do great things it's a place that's really toxic like watu wanaangalia and they they start to feel bad about themselves um and i think the major issue is kwamba vijana hawana hawana ukaribu na wazazi wao or let's say na walezi wao kwa hiyo instead of having a person that they can talk to kuwa na mtu ambaye wanaweza kuongea naye wana wanakaa na haya mawazo to a point in it reaches they they can't deal with it anymore and they don't know what to do so i think to yani to answer your question kujibu swali yako ni tatizo lipi naona ni kubwa sana ni kwa mavijana na wazazi wao na walezi wao hawako karibu kwa hiyo wanakuta kijana anapitia mambo mengi alafu hana mahali pa kwenda kuongea anaanza kufanya mambo ambayo tu like that are bad for them like kutumia madawa ya kulevya and etc na unafikiri nafasi ambayo wewe walikupa wazazi wako labda kufanya ku practice hiki ambacho unakipenda kutoka moyoni ni nafasi ambayo vijana wengi wanaikosa kwa sababu hawapati access ya kuzungumza na wazazi ama lakini pia wa vijana wenyewe hawako wazi kuwafungulia wazazi kwamba ni naiki mm. unaweza kunisaidia yeah mm. ni kweli like it's yani it's like a two way thing wazazi ni kama like hawako karibu sana hata kama wako karibu kuna vitu ambao wana yani hawawezaji kuongea like mimi na wazazi wangu wamenifanya like kama best friend yao hata kama kuna kitu shuleni imetokea like nikirudi tu nyumbani nikiwaona tu nataka kuambia like kuna watu wengine labda kuna msichana let's say ana tatizo na i don't know boyfriend labda lakini anaogopa kumwambia mzazi wake kwa sababu 
sababu that relationship isn't there then unakuta they go through all these problems and then they don't have anything to do so i think wazazi wanahitaji tu kutengeneza mazingira nyumbani about like where they can show their child kama ni okay to talk to them about things lakini like, pia the the kijana mwenyewe pia awe they shouldn't be afraid you know kitu ambao waga nawaambia ni wasiogope yani kama wanafikia mahali wanapata msongo wa mawazo wasiogope yani kuongea na mtu mkubwa na kumwambia labda like i need help you get what i mean yeah Nimeona Vanessa Mdeni mmoja kati ya watu ambao wamekufuatilia kwa muda mrefu nikijaribu kuangalia eh, kwenye mzunguko wa kazi zako tangu ukiwa kija, yeah. mdogo kabisa kabla hujafika miaka 18. Mm-hmm. Lakini nadhani unafahamu story ya Vanessa Mde. Vitu viko kwenye mtandao. Mm-hmm. Umesikia? Sijui kama umesikia kuhusiana na yeye kuacha mziki kwa sababu oh, ya, yes. ya msongo wa mawazo. Yes. Na wewe unapata nafasi ya kujifunza kutoka vijana wenzio kuhusiana na mambo ya afya ya akili ambayo yamekuwa yakiwakumba watu wengi. Yeah. Hiki kitu kinatokea sana kwenye mziki sasa hivi mm. kwamba una kipaji una kila kitu lakini unajaribu kufanya vitu vitu vya viendi mm. na vitokei. Yeah. Kwako hii unaitazamaje kwa mfano unajifunza nini kwa Vanessa Mde na wewe umekuwa ukiangalia mambo haya yanaonekana yanaleta msongo na msongo ndio unaleta matatizo ya afya ya akili mm. kwenye mziki. Kwako unajifunza nini kitu kama hiki? Um, uli, yani u, ex, unaweza ukashare experience kwamba kama ma, mambo ambayo Vanessa Mde alisema ni msongo wa mawazo alipata kwa sababu ya mziki mm. and you you are musician yeah. na mziki unakupa nafasi una talent una kila kitu mm. lakini vitu havitokei yani unataka we ni msanii mzuri unajaribu kufanya labda unaona mashabiki hawapokei mm. they don't receive your work mm. Kwako unajifunza nini hapa kwenye mziki na mambo ya changamoto hizi za ambazo um, zinatokea? Okay, um yani mimi binafsi kikweli sija I think I can say I'm grateful kwamba sija waiku I've never like let's say toa nyimbo and then labda tawajapokea or do a project that didn't succeed I guess I can say um and I think the only reason for that ni kwa sababu pia mimi I na mwamini sana Mungu yani kabla sijafanya kitu chochote naomba na I na ikabidi mikononi mwa Bwana na nasema like God just go before this so I think also, also kama kuna mtu ambaye yuko kwenye industry na ana like anapitia mambo and it's reaching a point where they feel like they're becoming depressed ningem chori too to just also just take some time to pray about it you know because when you pray about things prayer really works you know and it helps you get through the toughest of times so for me personally i think i'm able to just slide through because i have god behind saje ni tisa na dakika 11 hivi sasa kwenye milazo ah tucheze ni idea ya ili kujaje idea tucheze tucheze okay so uh nili I had the idea come it's actually very interesting because it all happened like in sync nilienda kuna cousin wangu mmoja anaitwa Natalie anafanyaga events zinaitwa backyard soiree sasa hizi events waga nazifanya anajifanya like marekani na hapa pia tanzania kuna mmoja alifanya havana night ambayo ilikuwa ina theme ya kikaribian kilatina kwa nilipenda sana zile vibes like the latina wanavyocheza you know and all of that stuff nikasema wow you know this music is so beautiful ningependa siku moja like to do a song like this alafu nikaenda studio within that same week nipanda studio producer aka aka piga the beat and i was like wow i love this beat so much like immediately nikasema nataka nifanye record kitu sasa hivi now within kama masaa mawili tu tulimaliza nyimbo kabisa everything was all done so it's like it all really just flowed like the whole caribbean thing about in inspire and then i heard this beat and it just the lyrics just really flowed through yeah Nimemwona Modo kwenye video anaitwa Kalisa nadhani kama si akosea. Yeah. Na ni good friend wako naona muda mrefu kwenye chatting then naona mm. ana ku accept sana. Yeah. Kwa nini uliamua kumchagua yeye kuonekana kwenye video na yeah. si mtu mwingine? Yeah. Kwa sababu Kalisa ni kama kaka yangu mkubwa like we have that he's like family. Mm. Kwa hiyo pia nikiwa nafanya muziki waga napenda sana ku kufanya muziki ambao like kufanya kazi na watu ambao I connect with them, you know? Cuz music is all about connection and vibes. Kwa hiyo nili I just thought he was the best person kwa sababu tayari ni mtu ambaye is like family na obvious and you know yeah it was just really fun it was a great experience to work with him and i thought of doing it with him for that reason um wewe unajitambulishaje sasa ni mwanamuziki wa secular au bado unajitambulisha kama mwanamuziki wa gospel yeah mimi najitambulisha tu kama like sitaki kujiwekea mipaka yani mimi bado ninaimba nyimbo za gospel nikitengeni yani mimi naandika kama nyimbo zangu mwenyewe hmm. kwa hiyo saa zingine mimi naomba roho mtakatifu anashuka naandika nyimbo ya gospel yani kumwabudu Mungu 
Alafu mm. kuna saa zingine labda napitia kitu ambayo it's sad nitaandika nyimbo a sad song. Na hii nyimbo like I said ilikuwa inspired na you know the culture ya Kilatina na Caribbean. Kwa hiyo niliandika kuhusu kucheza kwa sababu nyimbo inasema like in English perdons le contrôle dans son. I mean in French. Sorry kwa mm. Kifaransa ina maana lani just lose control na achia muziki tu itawali. Yaani haijalishi unapitia nini. Just let the music take control. Kwa hiyo inategemea tu na how I'm feeling, what I write, you know, that's the type of art that I am. Yeah. Na tuna tutaona collab na Fali Pupa maana niliona Kifaransa kingi sana. <laughs> yeah. But too, they should just stay tuned. Kuna collabs mm. nyingi zinakuja karibuni mm. actually ndani ya Tanzania nje ya Tanzania. So watu wakae tu, they should stay tuned, stay connected. Yeah. Na kuna album ama kuna EP inakuja kwa sababu nadhani nikiangalia namba zako kwenye digital nikijaribu yeah. kukolekti namba zako kwenye digital yeah. hazinidanganyi kwamba kuna audience itakuwa na demand ya yeah. album au EP yeah. yani yeah. some sort of new stuff yeah. ya ya mtu mwenye miaka 18 hapa <laughs> yeah. yeah so there is an album inakuja kwa hiyo i'm very excited um, kwa kila mtu kuisikiliza hii album una, mimi napenda kusema a story kupitia muziki wangu so hii album itakuwa kama in, it's telling a story about me and all of that so yeah i'm really excited for that to come out yeah ya bana poa sana ni abi chamzi labda tuambie mtu akikwambia mimi nimeongea na wewe mengi yeah. nikisema mambo matano ambayo sisi hatuyajui kutoka kwako yeah. ni yapi five things ambazo sisi we don't know yani tukiambiwa abi chamze yeah is in fact kwamba sisi hatuzijui yeah. ni zipi kutoka kwako five um, things five things okay mm. number one, i <laughs> i don't know uh, napenda sana kusoma like mm. vitabu nikiwa si sifanyi muziki and i'm not like busy busy na pen sana kusoma vitabu that one thing i guess two um hmm mm. <laughs> um na mchakula yangu ambaye naipenda sana sana zaidi ni chapati <laughs> it's very interesting cuz mimi napenda actually kuna view napenda sana macron ambayo it's a french pastry really yummy lakini if i had to pick between macron and chapati ningechagua chapati like sijui kwa nini unajua chapati is very basic mm-hmm. lakini mnaipenda sana na na simpendi na mchuzi nyingine yani natenda kwela to cover just chapati just like that yeah. yeah love that love chapati um hmm. what else what else what else Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Um oh, I can okay, siju ina semaje cuz ni radio hawezi kuniona mm. lakini ninaweza kugusa uh, pua yangu na ulimi. <laughs> Jaribu kwa sababu wa, wataiona kwenye okay, so eh, eh, eh wataiona hapo. <laughs> yeah, eh. nilikuwa darasa ya like tatu yani eh. nilikuwa yani kila mtu darasani alikuwa ananipenda cuz nilikuwa that cool girl ambaye anaweza kugusa pua na ulimi. Like it made me such a cool kid. <laughs> um hiyo ni ngapi tatu? Eh. <laughs> um ya nne. Mm, no. What else? What else? What else? Now pen ninapenda sana na mbwa. I don't know. I have pets at home that I love. Ndio maana yule mwingine alikufa eh. Yes, jamani hapo umenikumbusha. Mm-hmm. Pebbles. Mm-hmm. I like the pebbles. Alikuwa Siberian husky. Mm-hmm. Aliumwa actually. Yeah, aliumwa so alifariki. It was really really sad. Really really sad. <laughs> Lakini now <laughs> Lakini now we still have Coco. Namba moja Coco. Kuna tuna German Shepherds and Rottweilers pia. Mm-hmm. Lakini Coco ni pamoja yani ni kadogo hapo hapo. Mm-hmm. Yani zidi hapa. Mm. Na yeye, yani I think how old is she now? Ana miaka 70, 77 mm. in dog years. Yani in kwa watu it's like miaka 10 na no. 11. 11. Ana, mm. yeah, ana miaka 11 mm. so tangu nilikuwa mdogo ndogo sana mm. yani ni kama mwana familia anaitwa Coco mm. yeah just a random story um that's for third one is eh, no eh sijui ku count eh <laughs> ya tano ya tano mm. um oh this is an interesting thing mimi sina rangi but like i don't have a favorite color 
watu wengi waga nananiuliza abi what's your favorite color like unapenda rangi ipi zaidi like si si na rangi i don't have a favorite color like siwezi kuchagua like napenda rangi zote like mtu mwingine anasema oh, rangi yangu mbaya naipenda zaidi ni blue or nyeupe lakini mimi like i can't pick napenda zote yeah um okay that's five Um tumalize na haya wakati unasherekea siku yako kuzaliwa naona uliposti video yako ya miaka kumi na ya muda kidogo wakati yeah. unaimba ulikuwa unaimba ulikuwa wapi pale okay. nadhani na maana hapa ilikuwa ha, ilikuwa hapa lakini shule ni ilikuwa like darasa la tano ilikuwa like it was it was just like to work at like mission wa mwaka shule tulikuwa tuna kitu inaitwa christmas recital mm. yani ku yani christmas tulikuwa kuna show ya shule nzima tunafanya mm. yani ya muziki and all of these things kucheza and kuimba for the parents na kila mtu kuangalia so mimi nilipewa nafasi like kuwa lead singer mm. ya ile one of the performances yeah so nilikuwa kwa sababu ni birthday yangu nilikuwa na remember to like nilivyokuwa nilianza tu kuanza kuimba nilikuwa mdogo sana yeah that's why Ulizungumza swali nyingi lingine ambalo watu wengi wanakuuliza sana yeah. kuhusiana shule. Bado unasoma au umemaliza? Yeah. Bado ninasoma. Unasoma wapi hapa au nje ya Tanzania? Hapa nje ya Tanzania lakini sasa hivi iko online classes. Mm. Yeah. Moja ya vitu ambavyo kwenye interview moja ulifanyiwa ukazungumza kwamba ndoto yako ni kuwa daktari. Yeah. Hii ndoto bado inaishi ama ndo imechukuliwa na mziki? Yaani Yaani ni it's funny kwa sababu haikuchukuliwa na mziki kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka sana kuwa daktari na nilifanya vizuri vizuri sana kwenye like biology, chemistry, physics kwenye mitihani yangu ya mwisho nilifanya nilipata A star. Lakini nilikuwa nafanya like a, I don't know if I can say job shadow na baba yangu ofisini like nilikuwa naenda naye ofisini na naenda kwenye mikutano na baba yangu ni he's a financial consultant. Kwa hiyo nika I don't know yani zile nilikuwa napenda tu sana like the way that work environment is kwa sababu mimi ni mtu ambaye anapenda sana kuongea anapenda sana ku to think about things and to like create solutions to problems sasa kuwa daktari like as much as it's very exciting na nilikuwa nataka kufanya sana nikaanza yani labda the way that i think i feel like ningependa sana kuwa mtu ambaye nina like i actually talk about things you know ukienda ukiwa daktari it's mostly like about nilikuwa nataka kuwa daktari bingwa wa paswaji ya wa moyo yeah mm-hmm. na you don't really do a lot of talking and a lot of like problem solving it's the same thing every day kwa hiyo i really fell in love with that um that you know different side of things the corporate world kwa hiyo ni i made the decision kwamba ningependa pia kufanya business and finance and bound or kitu ambacho nasoma sasa hivi Yeah, bana niulize kitu kingine. Abi School Music inaendelea? Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. Ni moja ya ndoto zako ama ni yeah, ni sehemu ya vitu ambavyo? Yeah, ni moja ya ndoto zangu kwa sababu muziki it's something ambao yani Abi angetoa muziki kutoka maisha yake, maisha yake. I don't know like my life would be so different, you know, kwa sababu muziki it's like a form of expressionism, like kuji kujielezea like it's like you use it to express yourself mm. kwa hiyo ningependa sana like mtoto mwingine out there mtu mwingine out there kuweza kupata hiyo fursa kujifunza muziki pia just so they can also grow up like with that joy because music has really brought joy to my life kwa hiyo ninafundisha muziki kwa sasa hivi nafundisha mostly watoto wadogo um na ninafundisha like music theory sio tu practical lakini like, jinsi ya kusoma muziki jinsi ya ku compose your own music and things like that yeah <laughs> Okay, huyo ni Abi Chamzi nime umemmsikia tumezungumza vitu vingi sana kutoka kwake na rekodi yake inaitwa Tucheze ambayo unaisikiliza hivi sasa kwa milazo na check time yako ni tisa na dakika ishirini mbili na hisi hii ni moja kati ya interview ndefu zaidi kufanyika kwa milazo kwa tangu niwepo hapa kwa milazo kwa sababu interview ni dakika tano tu. Ala vitu vingi vingine nimevihifadhi nadhani ngoma ingine ikija yeah. mashuti mengine kwa sababu atakuja amejua Kiswahili vizuri kwa sababu hapa yeah. interview ni Kiswahili straight. <laughs> e bana moja kwa moja tunaingia kwenye kalitisa msikilizaji za anasemaje ungependa kufanya kazi na msanii gani yeah. wa Nigeria? Wa Nigeria? Mm. Um, okay to be honest this is not this is not very hard kwa sababu I already know this mwanamke msikio mbaya nampenda sana. Actually no two. There's two. Ninampenda sana Burna Boy lakini pia Rema. Rema. Yeah. Okay, tunarudi hapa. Kali tisa, tuko na Abi Chamzi hapa. For a long time so I'm honored kama watu wanaweza kufikiri that you know I could be you know 
there. Ukiambiwa msanii mkali wa kike kati ya Zuchu na Nandi ni yupi? Yaani kama nilivyosema wote wana sound ambayo iko unique kiukweli. Yaani Umambeo chague tu mmoja. Inawezekana kila mtu ni unique lakini no, kuna mmoja ni mkali kuliko wote. Kuna mmoja hawezi kwa sababu muziki is very diverse. Kuna pitch kuna yani there's many different things you know pitch ya zucha ni tofauti na yanandi zote zipo unique in their own way tone ya zucha na yanandi ziko unique in their own way kayo siwezi kuchagua yani siwezi kusema moja kwa sababu in every different aspect wana tofautiana yeah kwa sababu sijaacha kwa hiyo sijaelewa sijamelewa hapo kidogo anasema <laughs> bora ubaki kuimba gospel eh, sio secular music sijaondoka kutoka kuita unajua tucheze mm. ni nyimbo ambayo nasema tucheze labda yeye hachezi kwa sababu ni mkristo labda ndo ndo maana lakini mimi naamini kwamba kucheza ni kila mtu ni universal you know na it has nothing bad nothing that is that is that you can say ni it's secular kwa sababu yani neno secular ina maana without god mm. kwa hiyo ina maana kitu ambayo ni secular ina maana haina mungu na hii nyimbo hawezi kusema haina mungu cuz hata mungu we praise him and we dance for god as well yeah ni msani gani wa kike Tanzania unaweza kufanya naye collab yeah ambao what do you mean inaweza yani ambayo ukiambiwa chagua msani mmoja yeah. au nikutajie watatu wawili um, i think kati ya Zuchu yeah. na Nandi nani unaweza kufanya naye collab you know like thinking a kwa nzuri you know i think tungefanya wimbo wote yani kama like girl power yani ku empower women you know wote pamoja would be very beautiful you know nafikiri tu, umepewa nafasi ya kuchagua mmoja tu mm. Mm. choose ha, one collab yako ni mo- mzee wa mikito nunu no, no. <laughs>